So my work seeks to un understand, through content and practice, a rethinking of the sublime in nature, from a separating notion to viewing life as immersion in a living system saturated with presence. Devi Prayer on the honeybee collapse, 68 inches tall. I'm thinking about what it will take for um, humans to wake up. Blackbirds singing in the dead of night, painted in response to the Arkansas blackbird die-off. People were walking ankle deep in dead birds. These paintings were created in collaboration with composer Sam Granaccia for his Emergent Universe Oratorio. Here we have Forget Me Not Pedersen Glacier. Glaciers are beautiful and haunting in our knowledge of their melting, 66 inches tall. Tar Sands Tonglin refers to the devastating extraction of dirty oil in the Alberta Tar Sands, along with the Buddhist practice of Tonglin, breathing in suffering, breathing out healing, 66 inches. Many of my paintings explore my own emotional tension between perceived ecological emergencies and my hope for life flourishing emergent possibilities. Here's Garden's Twilight. Questions, is the garden burning or a magical night of fireflies? The universe is a green dragon, taken from author Brian Swim, living, self-organizing, complex, and radically interdependent, a story in which we are fully immersed. Earth Rise Amen, spelled E-A-A-R-T-H, like author, activist Bill McKibben's book, where he makes the point that Earth is visibly changed from the iconic Apollo mission photo, Earth Rise. Endless Spring is the title of both this painting and series, 12 feet by five feet, and again refers to one of the many Buddhist terms for awakening. Snowdrops became symbolic for hope as they bloom at the edge of melting snow. The work became more surreal, the snowdrops more orb-like and began to float. Here we have Red Flower Dream, 66 inches tall. I can't tell you why the snowdrops began to float, some sort of inner necessity. Somewhere around this time, my mother died and I felt as much earthed as transcendent. Snowdrops geography, 66 inches. Prayer for the monarchs. I'd only seen one that year. Sometimes the work feels like a desire to enter into a sensed, loving presence of the more than human world. 66 inches by 60 inches, acrylic on canvas. After Koyetsu, the medieval calligrapher whose studio became a meditation center for artists on the nature of nature. It's currently on exhibit at the Fleming Museum. For the past two years, I've been working on the Orchard Project, paintings, photos, drawings, and videos with my sons, Ben and Fletcher Bach. Here, Lectio Divina explores the Latin term for sacred texts, a practice of attentive noticing that resonates with your own heart knowing. I'm suggesting um, that the sacred text is the physical world and our experience of its invisible presence. So an ephemeral video with the physicality of apple branch, lichen, the orchard is cut, emblematic of human tree collaboration. Continuing to play with this idea of text, transliteration consists of 30 photos, photocopied onto transparencies, and rephotographed on a light table. So the reference is particular to the physical, um, yet simultaneously luminous.
I was partnered with Champlain Orchards of Shoreham for the Eyes of the Land exhibition. And one thing I was struck with was this, that every orchard seemed to have its own particular felt quality. I also spent time in Shelburne Orchards, Orchards in Oregon, the UK, and my own backyard, both commercial and feral. I'm interested in the relationship of the transliterated reference of place that happens in a painting, juxtaposed to the literal artifact of, of place, um, in this case, a branch or branches. Wish I had other stuff to say, but I don't. <laughs> um, uh, Tanalak, shown here, um, is part of Eyes on the Land, um, with table and hard cider in votives, explores the idea that there's a kind of communion in the sipping of cider. So you can see this shortly at the break. And Tenelach is old Irish for listening so deeply to the airs, waters, and soils that you can literally hear the earth sing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>